Okay, it's time for celebration. If you're a woman in menopause or nearing menopause, something big just happened. On November 10, the FDA voted to remove the black box warning on hormone replacement therapy. The black box warning is the FDA's most strenuous caution that using something could potentially cause harm and even death if it's not used completely appropriately. And that's been on hormone replacement therapy of all kinds for 23 straight years almost to the day 23 years ago was when evening news came out mentioned the halting of the women's health initiative because of an increased risk of breast cancer and women got off their hormones and doctors have been afraid to prescribe hormones since then and dr. Marty McCary has gone on record saying that that may be one of the biggest mistakes that medicine has made in the last 25 years inappropriately scary warning for hormone replacement therapy it's time to start talking about hormone deficiencies of menopause and what we can do about them. How important that is for healthy, vibrant aging. Here's the thing, there's really four components to hormone safety and this is crucial. Component number one, use the right hormones. Use the hormones that are exactly biochemically, molecularly the same as what your ovaries used to make. Now we call that bioidentical hormones. Some people call it body identical hormones and some people call it isomolecular hormones. I don't care what you call it. I care that at the molecular level it has the same shape as what your ovaries used to make. That's estradiol, progesterone, and testosterone. It's not Premarin, which is pregnant mare's urine, equine, estrogen, aka horse estrogen. It's not medroxyprogesterone acetate, which acts like progesterone on the uterus, but nowhere else in the body does it act like progesterone. Use the right hormones. So basic, so important, so underreported. There are still non-bioidentical hormones out there, and now that we have the bioidenticals available, why would you use anything else? It's not rocket science, it's common sense. Component number two to hormone safety so that you can be on them and get the benefits for your life. Use the right balance at the right levels. You know what that means? It means you have to check the levels. Now, unfortunately, in my OBGYN training, we didn't check levels. We didn't know that there's two types of estrogen receptors, estrogen alpha and estrogen beta. We just gave hormones to stop hot flashes. And I did a lot of additional training to get the information that I think makes us superior at Vitality Renewal on using hormone replacement therapy. So we want to balance estrogen and progesterone. We want to make sure that the levels are in the appropriate range for a menopausal woman. You don't need to have these wavy high levels that you used to have when you were cycling. A cycling woman's estrogen will go from very low to up above 300 picograms per milliliter depending on where she is in her cycle. And progesterone levels vary from almost undetectable to high depending on where you are in your cycle after ovulation. We don't need that anymore. We're looking for preventing hormone deficiency symptoms and long-term issues that go with hormone deficiency, but you don't need oscillating, alternating high and low levels. We need a baseline level. So check the levels, please. Number three, make sure that you have the right metabolism of these hormones, especially your estrogen. All of them. Progesterone metabolites are important because if you met metabolize your progesterone down a certain pathway, then you're more susceptible to bloating because it has aldosterone like effects. Testosterone metabolism is important because if you have a certain type of metabolism, then you're more likely to be at risk for the androgenic effects we don't really want of testosterone, like whiskers. But the estrogen metabolism is key because if you metabolize your estrogen down the wrong pathway, it creates something called quinones, which can damage your DNA. And that can lead to DNA mutations, which could be responsible for some of the estrogen estrogen dependent cancers. We don't want that. And the only way to know how you're metabolizing these hormones is to check your excretory pathways, so stool or urine, because it's simple and it's easy and we can look at your estrogen metabolites. If you're not metabolizing them in a healthy pathway, we can do things to encourage it. So that's important to know. And the fourth component of hormone safety is make sure you have healthy receptors. This is key. A lot of women are wasting their money on hormones if they don't have healthy receptors. 
receptors. The hormone and the receptor work like a key and a lock. The hormone is the key and the cell membrane with the receptor is the lock. If you have nice keys and rusty locks, what happens? You can't open the door. Now there's a lot of bioidentical hormone experts that do not understand this and they just keep giving higher and higher doses of hormones to people if they're not responding like they would expect regardless of what their levels are. That's rusty locks guys. If you have rusty locks, your hormones aren't going to work. You need a whole person approach. And that's why at Vitality Renewal, we are the hormone locksmith. We balance your hormones. We give you optimized hormones of bioidentical levels and we make sure your gosh darn receptors work by healing what's wrong. What's damaging the receptors? Super high stress, toxins, inflammation, infections, poor nutrition. We got to clean that up or your hormones won't work right. And that's what we do. So I am so excited about this news that we can stop giving women misinformation about the dangers of hormone replacement therapy. That's great. Let's continue the conversation by talking about what makes hormones the best? What makes them work the best? What do we need to have healthy receptors, optimized hormones, and bioidentical hormones at great levels? Have that conversation with your doctor. And if your doctor doesn't know what you're talking about when you ask about bioidentical or when you ask about what do you think about hormone receptors and how does that possible, get another doctor. You need someone that can do the whole picture and then you'll get the benefits of hormone replacement therapy to have a healthy, vibrant life, minimizing the risks. It's about time. I'm Dr. Yvonne Kearney. I'm the hormone locksmith. If you have found this helpful, please refer a woman that needs to hear this. Send it to them. Thanks. Have a great day.